basically this is just to like pack on shadow, like tap on shadow. What the hell's that? It sounds like there's a ghost in my bedroom. Does there not? This is the elf. What the hell is going on in there? Did you hear that? Yeah, I mean, I freaked out. It sounded like there was a chicken spreading its wings in my bedroom. One second, we'll be right with you. What the fuck was that? Did she play something? I don't know. I fucking feel like it now. Was that not here? Or maybe it was it the blinds? She freaked out though. No, she freaked the fuck out. Are your neighbors like doing construction? Have they been working on anything? I mean, not that I know of. That was so weird and we cut it all on camera. Yeah. Okay, meanwhile, I'll never be able to sleep in my apartment ever again for the rest of my life. Let's go back to talking about makeup brushes. Ghost, you better chill the fuck out because you're interrupting my video and making my dog freak out. I'm going to be talking about makeup brushes. So if you're a dude that does makeup, you probably don't give a shit. Okay, also I would just like to say that my hair is not wet and my elbow is like almost completely healed. So, bring it back to your life. All right, so let's get started. Um, I'm gonna link and list all the brushes that I use below. Everyone that watches my videos um, is usually people that I'm friends with on Facebook, um, which aren't beauty gurus or anything like that so I figured I would just make a video talking about what I use makeup brushes for and kind of like help the average Joe or Jane I don't know what I'm saying help the average person out if you guys have watched any of my videos you know that I always apply my foundation with a beauty blender this is technically Mia, can you not like hack along? Okay, please excuse my nails because they're crusty as hell and my dog keeps hacking. It's really awesome. Really, really awesome. So I apply my foundation with a Real Techniques Beauty Blender. I think this is called a beauty sponge, which that sounds freaking weird. So, and it's stained because I use it. Even though I just washed it. I just washed all my brushes. I also think that I want to do a video. Excuse you. All right, she wants to be here. I want to do a separate video uh, about how I clean my makeup brushes because if you don't clean your makeup brushes, you ain't gonna be on Okay. <laughs> so I um, apply my foundation with the Beauty Blender most of the time. Um, I'm gonna go like in order that I do my makeup, so I'll try to like stay focused because we all know if I'm ADD and I can just turn off like squirrel. So another way that I like to apply my foundation is with this Morphe E6 brush. I don't even know if you can see it from here, but, um, well, I mean, obviously you can see it, but um, it's a flat top kabuki brush. It's really good for, I just put my foundation on the back of my hand and kind of just like swirl it all over my face. I like this method, but I do prefer the Beauty Blender over a brush. But this is also good for putting powder on, like pressed powder. My next brush that I like to use is this e.l.f. brush. It's kind of like e.l.f.'s version of this brush, but obviously you can see like the Morphe brush is just a little bit more high quality. Um, it is probably like double the price, but it's still, this was probably like $12 and this was like sick. You can get this at Walmart, Walgreens, Rite Aid, any drugstore will have this. Morphe you have to order off the website. This is a really good brush for bronzing. I like to bronze my skin with this and again just like an all over powder brush um, that's what I use this guy for. I like to set my concealer under my eyes. I use the, my beauty blender to uh, blend out my concealer. I'll use the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder under my eyes to set the concealer. And I use these two brushes. Um, forever I use the e.l.f. blush brush. Um, and I like it because it's really like slim, thin. I don't know. I just try to say slim. Like, I don't know. Anyway, I just, it gets ripped, like right up under the eyes and it's easy to like press powder under there. Um, so I do like this brush, but lately I've been using the e.l.f. stipple brush. And basically I just dip this in the powder and kind of stipple it like this, look up and do it like that. 
So both of the brushes are good. It's just personal preference. Okay, so moving on to blush brushes. This is the Real Techniques blush brush. Um, I love Real Techniques brushes. It's probably the most like higher end drugstore brush that you can buy. But as you can see, they're really pretty. They're really cute. This I just dip in blush and put it on the apples of my cheeks. It's just like a fluffy. It actually doesn't even need to be this big. But I kind of like that it is. I don't know. I like it. Next, this brush, which I've used in videos before. This is the Wet n Wild Angled Contour Brush. And forever I was using a Real Techniques. Devin and I just had to dig through the pits of hell to find this brush. <laughs> this is what I used to use for contour. This is a Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. Um, oh. As you can see, I didn't... Um, Clean this one. I used to use this as a contour brush, but I think this is, it's just too dense and a little too like, I don't know what I'm trying to say, but I just enjoyed this better for contour because when you contour, you can like really just kind of like blend it out. So this is what I like to use to contour. Wet n Wild, I believe this brush was $2.99. Actually, Kristen Stoller got it for me, but um, yeah, I've seen it at the stores. I think it's like it's, it's under $5, and it's amazing. The, the bristles are very soft. It's really pretty, like it's a pretty brush. So I have to say my favorite eyeshadow brushes are these two brushes by Morphe. So my favorite um, brush to like blend a transition shade in my crease is the Morphe E27 brush which I'm so sorry, but they are actually discontinuing the Elite. This, like, E stands for Elite. Um, but they're coming out with a new collection, but I believe that the, the Elite is still available on Morphe's website, and they're 40% off now, so I'm gonna link that shit so hard. I love this for just, like, blending in my crease and making my makeup look blended and just fucking dope as hell. Okay, my next favorite... Uh, eyeshadow brush is the Morphe E13. Um, it's kind of like the E27. It's a little bit shorter and a little bit more dense. Um, so I like to use this on my outer corner to pack product on and then like blend that out. Love this brush. It's honestly, if you have these two brushes, you don't need any other eyeshadow brushes. I'll be straight up and honest with you. These are just all the brushes that I use on a regular basis. I'm not saying that I use them every day, but this is just what I use. Another Wet n Wild brush. It's kind of like Wet n Wild's version of this brush. Um, this was 99 cents, I believe, and this was probably like three or four dollars, which to me is like, that's great. Um, so this is just a fluffy blending brush, and I use it for the same purpose as the Morphe E27, um, just blending out in the crease, and yeah, it's great. It's a great brush. My next brush is the e.l.f. Contour brush, and contour people think like Kim K contour, and it's like, no, the contour means like the crease in your eye. So basically, I love this brush. For whatever reason, I love it for using black. It's really good for halo eyes because you can set it in your crease here and your crease here and then blend back and forth like this. And it's just like a small, dense packing brush. I love it. Um, yeah, it's an e.l.f. contour brush. It was $2. Another brush that I love is the e.l.f. eyeshadow C brush. This is just like if I'm going for like a basic ass look, kind of like what I have on my eyes right now because I have a bold ass lip. But basically this is just to like pack on shadow. Whether it's like shimmer or whatever, I like this brush. It's just like a general eyeshadow brush. These two brushes I use to smoke out my lower lash line. This is the Elf. Also, do I look like Miranda Sings? Get mine. Okay, so these I love to use to smoke out my lower lash line. Um, it just kind of depends on what look I'm going for. Um, they're both used for the same purpose. This is just like a, a smaller brush to get right up on the lash line. And this is kind of like if I really want to like smoke it out and more dramatic. So they're both used for the same purpose. 
I don't know, this is probably like an angled small brush. It doesn't have a name, but this is the eyeshadow crease brush. That's all I have for you today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I just wanted to do an informative video. I hope that it was informative and not all over the place. Now we know that my house is haunted, so that's great. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!